Hi guys, this is Amr from Certified Power. Today I'll be showing you how to do a manual override on a PV72-20, PV72-30, or a PV70-30 cartridge valve. To do this manual override, you will need a flat head screwdriver and a couple 1 and a 16th inch wrenches. Doing a manual override on a PV72-20, PV72-30, or a PV70-30 cartridge valve is very basic. They will all have this red knob. The only difference is that some of these cartridge valves will have a guard cap covering the red knob. If the valve that you want to operate manually has this guard cap, it will be torqued to about 7 foot-pounds. Use both 1 and 1 16th wrenches to unscrew the guard cap. Use the flathead screwdriver to screw this red knob. Turn clockwise approximately one turn to reach the starting point. From then on, turning it clockwise will proportionately actuate the cartridge function. Turning this knob clockwise all the way in means the valve is fully open. A fully open valve means we should expect maximum flow. Turning it counterclockwise will proportionately close the valve. Turning it counterclockwise all the way out means the valve is fully closed. A fully closed valve means that it should see no flow. This same method applies to the PV72-20, PV72-30, PV70-30 or any other similar cartridge valve. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call on the number provided on the screen or visit our website at www.certifiedpowersolutions.com.